your girl here, Priscano. Welcome to my channel. Today's activity is about chromatography. Chromatography is a separation process in which a fluid flows over a stationary phase. We have different chromatographic techniques. Some of them include paper chromatography, column chromatography, thin layer chromatography, and gas chromatography. The technique we are going to use in today's experiment is thin layer chromatography, which is popularly known as TLC. Some of the importance of chromatography is that it is used to determine the purity of an organic compound. It is also used to determine or to identify different organic compounds present in a mixture. Now, the aim of today's activity is to investigate different pigments present in a purple leaf. Different pigments present in a purple leaf. So I have here with me purple leaves. Yes, purple leaves. So you are going to investigate the, some of the various pigments that are found in this, in this leaf. Now I'm not going to do the practical as usual. My colleague Sule is here. He will take us through today's activity. So I will hand over to him. And viewers, as my senior colleague rightly said, the chemicals for today's particles are we have acetone, then we have our petroleum ether, then we also have. Here, my granite purple leaves. Then the are we have the beaker, the beaker. We also have the measuring cylinder. We also have the watch glass, the watch glass. We also have the capillary tube, the capillary tube. Then we also have our TLC plate. Let me let you see it. Our TLC plate, hope you can see it. So, so this is a plastic coated with what? With silica gel. A plastic coated with silica gel. So, so these are the chemical and the, and the apparatus we have to use for this experiment. I will hand over to my senior colleague to take us through the procedure. Then I will do the particle as she rightly said. Okay, thank you, Sule. So the first step is to measure our uh, solvents. We have two solvents here with different polarities. So we are going to measure the nine mil of the petroleum ether and one uh, one mil of the acetone. So Sule is going to tell us more about the ratio be between these two solvents. So he's going to tell us and measure it and add it to our purple leaves. So Sule. For the purpose of this particle, as, as my senior colleague already said, but for the purpose of this particle, we are going to use 4.5 ml of petroleum ether, then 0.5 ml of acetone in the leaves so that we can get the filtrate to spot. But when we are going to elute, or when we are going to get, uh, but for our solving front, we are going to use 9 ml of petroleum ether, then 1 ml of Acetone to elute. Okay. So viewers, so viewers, that's what I'm going to do now. As as she said, listen, I'll measure. So Miss uh, Sule is going to measure 0 0.5 mil of the acetone. So that's what he is doing. Now we have to grind the purple leaves to increase the surface area. Yes. So he is checking if it is on the menis force. So 0 0.5 mole of the acetone. Okay. Yes, I can see. This is 0 0.5 mole of the acetone. So he's adding it to the leaf and he's going to take 4.5 mil. So I'll now measure my 0 0.5 ml of petroleum ether. The 4.5. 4.5 ml of petroleum ether. Mm. 
because I, as you can see, this is 4.5. Then I'll pour it to my blended leaves. Then the viewers, I'll quickly close because all the two solvents are, are volatile. So now, so I'll now hand over to my senior colleague to proceed with the next procedure. So the next procedure, we are going to spot. So I will give the plate to Sule for him to demonstrate how he's going to spot it. But before spotting, we need to do some lines. So you explain everything for us. So as as you rightly said, before before I spot, I have to rule a line. You see, this is a TLC plate, so I have, I have to rule a line from the top down one centimeter, then from the bottom down one centimeter. So that's what I'm now going to do. From the top down one centimeter, from the bottom down to one centimeter. See, then I'll now rule a straight line, horizontal line across. So, as you can see, one centimeter from the from the top and one centimeter from the bottom. So I'll now spot, then I, I'll now use my capillary to, to do my spotting. So now I can now open my sample. Then I'll make sure that it will mix, it will mix well. Then my sample is ready for spotting. I will dip. So this one, I just want the filtrate. But but not the purple leaves, but the filtrate that I want. So I guess put, I guess got some small filtrate. Then I will spot in the middle. So if I spot one, I will allow it to air dry first. So that if the concentration is not much, then I will spot again after it has air dried. Then I will spot again. I'm just doing that just to make sure that it is concentrated so that the, so that the separation will be clearer. Because well, if the concentration is not, if the concentration is light, the separating too will be lighter. So this is my last time. As you can see, you see the concentration is not clearer. So it means that I'm now ready to do my traveling. I'm now ready to do the eluting. So now, I'm now going to measure nine mil of, one mil of my acetone. Then, then I'll measure nine mil of my petroleum eater. And as my senior colleague rightly said last, as my senior colleague uh, rightly said, you see, if you are doing a mix of two reagents, there is a concentration. You are mixing two concentrations together. And in chemistry, we always use what we call the diluent volume ratio. And the diluent volume ratio, you see, that my senior colleague uh, said, initially said, you measure nine mil and one mil. You might not understand. But when they are writing it, they use diluent volume ratio. And how is it done? What we said, it means that the, the diluent volume ratio is going to be 10 is to 1. And the 10 is to 1 is with respect to petroleum ether, then acetone. So the 10 is to 1, the mean, the mean is that. It means if you are going to measure a volume of 10, it means that you are measuring 9 mL of what? Pet eater than one mil of acetone. That is the meaning. And if I'm measuring a volume of five mil, it means that I'm measuring 0.5 mil of what? Pet 
petroleum ether than one mil, uh, than sorry, 0 0.5 mil of what? Acetone. That is the meaning. And the meaning is just the ratios. It means the first one, as I write this, it means you take the petroleum ether in the ratio means is nine. So it means I'll take nine over 10 times 10. Uh, nine over 10 times 10. You see, I'll get nine. That was the first one. And for acetone will be one. So I will take one over 10 times 10, uh, times 10 and I'll get one. And that will also be applicable to the five mil too. So, so that is what you need to understand for now. So, so I've done the spotting now. So I'm now going to, so I'm now going to measure my, so I'm now going to measure my 10, I'm now going to measure my measure of 10. And my measure of 10 has already been measured. You, you can see, that's the measure of 10. So it means we measured, we measured nine mil of pet, petroleum eater, then one mil of acetone. So it means that has, has already been done. So I will not, I'm now going to do my eluting. So this is how you do, you make sure that, see how I'm going to do it, it will stand straight, you see? So that I will close it faster because the two reagents are all volatile, it means they evaporate easily. So that I will now wait. I will now be observing. Immediately the solvent front reaches to my, as you, as you are observing, immediately the solvent front reaches to the line I drew, the upper line, it means I will, I will quickly remove my TLC plate. So I'll be observing immediately it moves uh, up to the upper line, then my experiment is done. So I will now remove, then circle my colors, then circle my colors. So viewers, as, we are, as all of us, we are, we are now observers. I'm also observing, so you two do the same. Viewers, as you can see, our solvent has traveled to the line, so I will now quickly remove it. So I will allow my resin to, to air dry. But now I hope you, I hope you can see the colors even because the colors have, you see the colors have been separated. So these are my pigments. But the more it air dries, the, the clearer it becomes. You see. So it has air dry. So I will not allow my senior colleague to even reflect the light so that you can see it more clearer. You see, that is to tell you that if you do that is to tell you if you do this experiment and your pigments are not that clearer, you can use light so that the reflection so that the reflection of the light. So viewers, as you can see, as I said earlier on, the colors here are even clearer, but in the situation where your colors are not clearer, you can use the light to reflect the color so that you can see it more clearer. But as you can see that, when we use the light, you can see even the colors more clearer. So that is why we are using the light so that if you're also doing such particles and your colors are not that clear, you can also use light. Even if they are even clearer, you can even use the light to make it more clearer. So viewers, that is it. So viewers, as you can see, I will now hand it over to my senior colleague. I will now hand it over to my senior colleague, viewers. All right, thank you, Sule, for this wonderful demonstration. So now what is left with this is to calculate for the RF value. The RF is retardation factor. So it will, will show the the calculation for the RF is the distance traveled by the pigment divided by the distance traveled by the solvent front. So that is how we calculate for the RF value. So we leave it here. We, are, we have come to the end of today's activity. I want to thank my colleague Sule for demonstrating for us. US, this is how we investigate different pigment from purple leaf yes we use purple leaf for today's activity if you have
have any question on today's practical, please draw my attention to it in the comment section and I'll answer all your comments. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please share my link with your friends. Tell your friends about my channel. And I will see you again in my next video. It's bye-bye for now. Bye.